It looks like Frank Lampard is getting the band back together. What is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the Upper 90 YouTube channel. In today's video we are talking about none other than Frank Lampard and who he's bringing on as his coaching staff. This is massive not only for Frank Lampard but for Everton because he's bringing in some big name coaches that were at Chelsea and as a Chelsea fan I'm very curious to see how this turns out. Now obviously I'm going to be cheering for Chelsea each and every weekend but I may start tuning in to some of the Everton games just because Frank Lampard being there was a legend at the club. Did manage there for a little bit as we know how it all went. I still hope he does very, very well at Everton. Now that being said, we need to talk about the managers that he is bringing in. Now the three that he already has confirmed happen to be Paul Clement, Joe Edwards, and Chris Jones. Now as we know, we don't have to say too much about Paul Clement. This guy has gone on to win a lot of trophies as an assistant coach, he obviously won when he was at Chelsea, PSG, Real Madrid with Ancelotti. So again, this guy knows how to win and how to staff and manage players. And I think this is going to be a huge thing for Frank Lampard to have a guy like this that can really help him just steer in the right direction. Because again, as we've seen, Frank Lampard can manage younger players, but it's when you start having those bigger players with egos and stuff like that, it gets a little more difficult. So having a guy like this can really help keep everything in balance. Now, I want you to comment down below what you think about Paul, because again, I think this is probably one of the better signings for Everton, minus all the players. I think he's a really good pick. Now, along top of that, we have Chris Jones and Joe Edwards, both with the academy itself. And this, again, is going to be huge for Frank Lampard moving forward, because as we know, he definitely likes using the youth players. So this is going to be big, not only for this season, if they can stay up, which I think they will now with some of the signs that they got in this January window, but moving forward for Everton, that they should be able to pick up a few players from their youth group, get them into the system, and keep building off of that, which again will be massive for Everton because then they can maybe sell some of those players and buy bigger players, or they have a huge depth in certain areas. So again, that is going to be big. And then the last player or manager we need to talk about is Ashley Cole. Yes, Ashley Cole, the one and only Best left back ever to play in the Premier League. I know you might disagree with that, but he was the best left back to ever play in the Premier League. Also helped out Frank Lampard at Derby when he was a manager there. It seems to be coming to the rescue again for Frank. This guy is going to come in and also help coach with, I'm assuming, the defense as the left back coach. I mean, obviously, he's not going to be specifically the left back, but I think that is where he's going to really hone in and help Frank Lampard out. This, I mean, it's sad to say if Luka Dinia would have been there with Ashley Cole, I think this would have been a huge plus for that player and for Frank Lampard. The fact that he's now gone, obviously, they're going to have to fill that role with someone else. But this is going to be big moving forward because, again, this will help Frank Lampard really be more dynamic on those wing backs, especially on the left side with Ashley Cole, again, coaching that player, that this is going to be big for Everton. So that is all I have for you today. Again, I'm very surprised with how this is all going for Everton and for Frank Lampard. Things are moving quickly for this manager to get multiple managers or coaches that he's wanted from Chelsea. And luckily, Chelsea really didn't ask any of these. And again, I'm happy for that because... They obviously want to see Frank Lampard grow. Maybe down the road he can come back to Chelsea and hopefully have a better ending with his managerial career at Chelsea than he did last time. But who knows? Only time will tell. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.